welcome to Fit M Wellness. My name is Emily Chang. Today we're gonna to be training legs and I have a special guest with me today, IFBB Pro, Pete Ciccone. How are you doing guys? Thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. What we're gonna focus on today is two different intensifying techniques that were made popular by Joe Weider back in the day. We're gonna do supersetting and then we're also gonna do a pre-exhaust. These two techniques are designed to take the intensity of the training and focus it. We're gonna focus on glutes and hamstrings and overall lower body. When we do the pre-exhaust, it actually pre-fatigues the target muscle. So we'll take a specific exercise. In this case, we're gonna focus on glutes. We're gonna pre-exhaust the glutes before we bring it into a more total body or compound movement, which will be the leg press. Now here at the Human Elite in San Diego, we have a cool leg press by a company called Mayhem. That's a posterior chain focused leg press. It has a slightly backward leaning seat. So it allows the backside to be focused while you're doing the press. So even though it's a compound movement, it's also fantastic for hitting hamstrings and glutes, the posterior chain. So we're gonna combine heavy hip thrust with the posterior chain leg press by Mayhem. I think you're gonna love this one. Em's gonna talk a little bit more as we begin about the different mechanics of setting up the exercises properly with proper foot position and proper body alignment so that we can specifically target glutes as a priority and then glutes, hamstrings, and quads for the second movement. Here we go. You ready? Okay guys, so whenever you're doing any kind of barbell hip thrust at the gym, you wanna set yourself up with a flat bench, a barbell with some plates. Um, what I like to do is grab either one of these uh, pads here so that way you protect your hips area or you can use one of these blue pads over here as cushion as well. Um, so what you're gonna do basically is you're gonna put the band right above your knees first to start off with. Coach Ann, why do we do that? Why do we do this? Yeah, why, you, why the band? So we wanna provide resistance on the outside of the knees to engage the glute medius. So anytime that you bring your knees apart like so, you're gonna engage your glute medius and um, activate glute um, hip abduction, A-B-D-duction. <laughs> Just in case you get that one confused. So engaging the glute medius while you're doing a hip thrust engages the glute maximus, and therefore you get more bang for your buck when you're doing your hip thrust. One of the things to keep in mind, guys, whenever you're using a resistance band, never place it directly on the joint. You wanna place it actually a little bit above or a little bit below the joint because that's gonna keep the pressure off the joint itself. So if you place it just a little bit above the knee, not on the knee directly, as you can see what M does, that's gonna provide maximum resistance. It's keeping the band super tight, but it's not stressing the knee through an uh, angle or range of motion that's not natural. Yep. Are you ready? Yep. So when you're positioning yourself, you wanna make sure that you place the bottom of your shoulder blades directly on the bench. So what I also like to do is make sure that my feet start off close together so I get the most leverage pushing up um, out of the, into the movement. And then I get my feet nice and wide, slightly rotate the toes out to externally rotate the femurs as well um, to engage more glute and then push the heel and come up. And here we go. All right, good woman. Okay. So like so, bottom of the shoulder blades resting on the bench. Okay, bar is gonna rest directly on top of me couple things you want to keep in mind as well. You want to keep your chin tucked in so you don't stress your cervical spine and you want to keep your core nice and tight. So as you watch me, you'll notice that I don't go up um, into a complete kind of like bridge position. I only bring up my body until I'm in a flat tabletop position so I don't stress my lower back. Okay, so like so, bring my feet as close as I can to me, starting off really nice and close, pushing through the heels up. Big exhale at the top. Get my feet wide, slightly rotate the toes out, hinge at the hips down, big exhale at the top, squeeze glutes. Take back what you said, I need apologies from you. Take back every word, make it. Hey guys. So if you've been doing hip thrust for a while and you feel like you still can't get your glutes activated, try thinking of your hips as an ice cream scooper. So you know how an ice cream scooper kind of scoops down and then comes back up? Think of your hips doing the same, almost scooping down, digging up the ice cream, and squeeze at the top. So scoop, 
and squeeze. Pelvic tilt. <laughs> That's just because you're dieting. You're thinking about ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> that Make works. it all go away. Take back what you said. I need apologies from you. Take back every word. Make it all go away. And if you guys aren't using a band, you're missing out. Facts. So guys, whenever you're taking your rest breaks, I don't usually like to, you know, like time myself. I kind of give myself um, enough time to kind of catch my breath, get ready for the next set, reset my brain, um, kind of mo my, motivate myself a little bit between sets. Um, so. Rest typically is like 30 seconds to a minute on average. Um, again, that'll kind of depend on how intense the exercise is um, and then what, what exercise you're doing too. Um, whenever I'm training clients, you know, like I'm not rushing them to jump into the next set. They kind of go at their own pace and I'll, I'll train myself about the same as well. Um, Cause you want to make sure that every rep and every set counts. And you notice with this, this leg press is pretty awesome as far as lower body training, it mimics in some ways the mechanics of a squat because your seat is lying back. What you want to do when you put your feet up for our purposes is to take a stance that's close to the plate. So you have a very deep range of motion. You're going to have your feet slightly wider than shoulder width, middle of the plate, push through the heels, and you're also going to have a slightly outward angle, femurs, and always follow the toes to protect those knees. We don't ever let them drift inward. That's gonna put a lot of lateral stress on the knee. When you push upward, push up to a nice controlled squeeze and then come down with control. You wanna be slightly deeper than 90 degrees for the range of motion so that you get a complete activation and engagement at the bottom of the movement. You ready? Yep. 20 reps. Okay. So to you guys, when you do this exercise, make sure you hold yourself down because the weight tends to kind of scoop under you. So if you let the weight kind of push you up, you risk hurting your lower back. So make sure you hold on tight. And even though we're doing a superset and we're doing pre-exhaust, that doesn't mean go light. What we want to do is always focus on maximum effort through every set you do other than your warm-up sets. This will keep the focus and the intensity high, and this is what's gonna build muscle. Taking that muscle beyond failure, beyond functional, strict, controlled, safe range of motion, dig deep into those muscle fibers, make them grow. Yep. you said I need apologies from you take back every word make it I'll go away take back what you said nice word down slowly excellent we'll do one more round that's fantastic another thing to keep in mind guys when you're doing leg press or any other leg movement be careful not to pop the knees and hyperextend. Everything should be done with slow squeezing tension. As you notice, she was controlling the movement at the top of the movement, not popping and locking, because that's gonna actually take pressure off the muscle and put it right on the joint. You wanna keep those joints safe, always nice smooth squeeze, tension in the muscle. Good work. Oh. Okay. Yes. <sighs> Okay guys, 
So thank you so much for lasting through that super set with me. That was killer. Now we're gonna move on to three staple exercises to build wellness legs. For those of you that are going from bikini to wellness, this is a really good tricep um, to start with to build your wellness wheels. So we're gonna start on this machine, um, similar to the gluteator, I'm not sure what you would call it, but basically it's a hip abduction machine. So any girls, any guys too, anybody who's trying to build that upper shelf, upper glute area, this is your exercise right here. Yeah, piriformis glute medius. Yes. I want to make sure when you go through these, we're going to go nice and strong, nice and slow, decent weight, focus on as far range of motion as you can to get that peak contraction at the top. Yeah. You want to squeeze, get a quick pause at the top, rep range 10 to 15. This is our pre-exhaust for the glute med, upper glute, building that shelf, like you said. Yeah. And then we're going to move on to RDLs, which is going to focus on hamstring and tie-ins. The hamstring stretch will be intensified because we're going to slightly lift the toes. Keep the knees slightly bent. We'll talk about that as we get there, but that's going to focus on hamstring and glute. Then we're going to move on to a quad exercise. Because I'm getting ready for wellness, quads is still very important, of course. And overall shape with a compound movement, we're going to do a machine squat, a pendulum squat that we have here, uh, built by Mayhem. Are you yep. ready? Yep. Oh, I also wanted to add, um, just so that you guys know, the closer your legs start together at the starting position, the greater range of motion that you're going to have. So that's why we put these yoga blocks here on this machine, just so that my legs can start closer together. So starting position, toes are going to be slightly pulled up towards the ceiling. So dorsiflex, no ballerina toes. This is plantar flex. We're going to dorsiflex the feet slowly ro or just slightly rotate the toes out. And then I'm going to be driving the movement from the outside of my heel and the outside of my hip. So the movement is originating here and pushing through the outside of my heel here and both legs. You really wanna make sure that you're exert, exu, exerting, sorry guys, exerting the same amount of force to each leg for equal development. So here we go. Nice and strong, hold the top. There we go. Nice and strong, there we go. Now M's already got a lot of fatigue from the first superset we did especially in that backside, posterior stuff, upper glute, thanks to the band on that one. I'm gonna go squeeze, hold the top, yes. I'm gonna give her a little bit of assistance as she starts to fail at the top end of the range of motion. That's going to intensify pushing through failure in the top of that contraction of the glute and the performance. Squeeze really hard, yep. Giving an assist like this, you want to be very careful not to take the weight from the athlete. Just gently adding the range of motion and support as that top end fails. There you go. I'll go away, take back what you said. I need apologies from you. Take back every word, make it. I'll go away. How was the weight on that? It's good. Awesome. Now we'll move on to RDLs. Okay. No rest for the wicked. <laughs> All right, guys. So when you do this exercise, really important, you always lead with your hips, not your back. So as you notice, I'm gonna push my hips back towards the back wall behind me and my uh, my back is automatically going to lean forward. I stop at the point where my hips can't go back anymore. Feel the stretch in my hamstrings, come up, squeeze the glutes at the top. Okay. Here. Taking the hips back. Stretch. Squeeze up. And squeeze. There we go. Yeah. Excellent. Now, as you see with them at the top of the motion, she's engaging glutes. This is a full and complete rep, it's not a three quarter rep. Three quarter reps are focused primarily just on hamstring stretch and squeeze. We want to involve the glutes in everything that we do as much as we can. 
in this case, squeezing, stretching through, not collapsing the lower back, keeping it always in a good, good angle. Awesome. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the pendulum squat. If you guys don't have a pendulum, you can do a half squat. You can do a variety of different foot positions. What we're gonna do with this one is we're gonna take, we wanna focus a little bit more on the outside part, the sweep to build a roundness for the bow and the lower body uh, for wellness. Feet comfortably close together. I say just inside shoulder width, toes straight up and down. That's gonna put a little bit more stretch and automatic engagement in the vastus lateralis, which is gonna give a little bit more stimulation to the outside part of the quad. With this one, because her posterior chain is fatigued, we wanna to continue to focus on glutes and hamstrings, deep range of motion, so that at the bottom of the motion, those glutes will engage and kick in. So we'll take it all the way down, slow, steady, 10 reps. Yep, easy right on this one. Feet close together, as comfortable on the knees as you can, straight up and down. Engage glutes all the way through. Push through the whole foot on this one, deep and there. Beautiful, just like that. You'll feel it at the bottom when you squeeze those glutes and engage. Initiate the motion on the positive of the concentric rep by engaging glutes. Sweet. Good form. Go a little heavier, stay. Go a little heavier. Yeah. So you elevate your toes in order to get more emphasis on the stretch and the hamstring. Okay. So anytime that we have more toes in a more Dorothy flex position, yep. you stretch the hamstrings yep. a little bit more. Versus just if you were just flat footed, stretching the hamstrings at the back. So if you already start in kind of like a compromised, like stretch position, you can increase the intensity, taking the muscle into a deeper stretch while you do the exercise. Yep, good. <sighs> I'm out of breath. It's awesome, we got three exercises in a row. <laughs> good work. Okay, round two, fight. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Three. Four. Hold this top. Hold this top. Hold this top. Hold this top. Yeah. Good work. If you guys didn't know, Coach Pete, his nickname is The Punisher. I wonder why. <laughs> guys, when you're elevating your toes, you don't want to just like elevate the toes like like this right you want to keep them up so i recommend if you're going to do any kind of like toes elevated you want to position your foot like where the arch is on top of the elevation okay so right about here keeping your toes elevated the entire time okay even at the downward portion here that's the whole point of having your toes elevated is to keep the stretch in the hamstrings the entire time so not like this like this you still want to have a slightly bent knee. Yeah. The knee will be stationary. Yeah. You don't want any dynamic motion through the knee joint because that's going to change the stress on the hip. Yep. There we go. Excellent. And you guys can also notice with the RDLs, typically the feet are done in a straight in front position, toes, uh, feet parallel. If you wanted to actually add a little bit more intensity, focusing on glute, you could bring the toes turned in slightly because that's going to cause the glutes, which are responsible for lateral femoral rotation, to be activated even in the stretch position. 
But we'll keep it safe. Basic RDL motion, toes straight in front of you. There you go. that way put a quarter okay yep. good one more round hey guys so whenever I hit a point of like mental fatigue during my set especially like when you're in the middle of your set or only like three reps in and you got like you know 15 left to go take a breath take a second Reset your brain. And what I like to think of is just go. Don't count. Of course you wanna count because you wanna know which rep you're on. But just know that you're going to get to the end. It doesn't matter how long it's going to take you. Just go through it, do it right, and do it safe. And know that you are stronger than you think you are. I was also gonna say it also helps having a really good trainer with you. Just especially on the days that you don't have the motivation or you're really just not feeling it. Having someone, you know, spot you, make sure that your technique is right, and to kind of give you words of motivation um, can really help during your workouts. So if you have a good trainer in your area, talk to them, see what they can provide for you, and try it out. Give me five seconds. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one more, one more, one more. Ready? Go. Five, four, three, two, and one. <sighs> nice job. Extra uh... bonus. Extra bonus. Uh, awesome. And if you're not sweating on leg day, you're not working hard enough. <laughs> I don't care how cold the gym is. <laughs> All right, last one. Okay. There you go. Nice. Okay, guys, you can see on these, the toes are in slightly. We wanted to give it a try. And see how it isolates the glutes immediately at the bottom of the motion as you initiate the pull upward. Glutes are already engaged. Those femurs are gonna to return to the natural neutral position with the pull of the glute from the bottom. Always on this motion, soft knee again. Protect those knee joints. Don't lock the knees, you don't have to. And control the speed when you come down and lengthen the hamstrings Control that speed. You don't want to hyper stretch the hamstrings. I've actually had a couple of injuries myself with the over stretching. Hamstrings vulnerable for tear. Very, very good. Awesome. Last one. Five seconds up, five seconds. Oh man. Okay, last set, best set. This one we're gonna intensify it a little bit more. I can tell she's strong, she's fatigued, but she's still got a little bit of gas left in the tank. With this last set, we're going to do, some people call them tempo reps. I stole these from Milos, my old coach, Milos Sarchev. Five seconds down and five seconds up. The slow concentric portion of the rep is what gets you on these. It takes rep discipline. You wanna squeeze the muscle against the resistance, not blast through it. It's a hitting different muscle fibers within the individual muscle groups. So it's gonna smoke everything. We wanna hit 100% utilization of all the muscle fibers in the lower body. Now we've pre-fatigued everything. The fatigue is built up, it's compounded. 
last set, five seconds down, slow and controlled, and five seconds up. Okay. I got you. We had a little bit more resistance. This is going to be a good back breaker or butt breaker. Back breaker. Or, or a leg breaker. Okay, slow and steady. Five down, five up. Quad maker. <laughs> Quad maker. <laughs> oh, man. Yep, I got you. Go slow as sin. Ready? Mm. Control. One rep at a time. Down slow. Five, four, three, two. Squeeze. Four, three, two. Good. Tension. Down again. Yep. Gotcha. Five, four, three. Squeeze. Four, three, two. Good. Just like that. Go down again. No risk. Down slow. That's it. I got gotcha. you. Squeeze up. Four, three, two. Good. Beautiful. Go again. Here we go. Squeeze hard. Down slow. I got gotcha. you. Yes, you won't get stuck. Just keep squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. Tension, tension, tension. Good. Five more. Just like that. Let's kill it. Last set, best set. Dig down. Yep. There you go. Up slow. Up. Squeeze. I got you. Good. Welcome to that pain. It means change. Down slow. Here we go. Yep. Let's get it. Gotcha. Yep. There you go. Squeeze real hard. Up, squeeze. That's it. Good. One, two, three. Almost done. Dig deep. Last set, best set. Shape those legs. Make those changes. That's it. Focus on the goal. Squeeze hard. Squeeze hard. Squeeze hard. Good. One, two. Awesome. Beautiful reps. One, two. Last two. Strong and steady. Here we go. Gotcha. Throw it. Four, three, two. Squeeze up. Four, three, two. You won't get stuck. Last one. Everything you got in this one, I want you to really go slow. Squeeze hard, 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 hard. There you go. And rock it. Go up. And rock it. Awesome work. Good job. Excellent. Good work. Oh my God. Done. I have yeah. no other words of motivation for a set like that other than to just go through it. Yeah. <laughs> go through it and be safe. Have a spotter, have a trainer. Do it right. <laughs> hey guys, thank you so much for watching my first YouTube video with IFBB Pro Pete Ciccone. I just wanted to give out a shout out to all of the future wellness competitors, bikini competitors, bikini competitors looking to go wellness. I just wanted to let you guys know you can do it. Train hard, train intense, follow the exercise program that we laid out here for you guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what kind of content you guys wanna see next, what you liked, what you didn't like, any questions that you have, and we'll see you next time.